Well, having clean air to breathe is something everyone can agree on, I think is safe to say. In tonight's Utah Caring Story, we look at our air in Utah and ways you can contribute to make a cleaner state. ABC4's Doug Jessup has the story. Almost 50% of our emissions base come from tailpipes. The Utah Clean Air Partnership was started to help every Utah understand that they play a role in the Utah air quality problem. So Tom, how can people reduce tailpipe emission? There are a lot of ways that we can solve or at least mitigate air quality problems by getting people out of their car and onto a bicycle. It doesn't just have to be a traditional bicycle, it can be an electric bicycle. Those will remove all kinds of tailpipe emissions, plus make people happier and healthier. Did you know that Utah is home to a manufacturer that assembles electric bikes in the same building where Model Ts were assembled a century ago? So why an electric bike? With inversion affecting the environment the way that it is right now, we stand to lose a lot of the beauty that, that, that we've come to love here. Anytime somebody's on a bicycle and they're commuting or they are using it to get from place A to place B, they're potentially replacing a, a gas-powered vehicle. That's reducing emissions right there. The folks at Bike Utah are getting into the action as well. One of our programs is the Governor's Thousand Miles Campaign, where we work between now and 2027 to build 1,000 new miles of family-friendly bike lanes, paths, and trails throughout the state of Utah. The big question is, how are we doing? We've seen over the last 15 years a 33% increase in population in the state and a 35% decrease in emissions. Doesn't mean we've solved inversion. In fact, we'll never solve inversion. It's a weather problem, but we have slowed down our build into red air. What's the best time to ride a bicycle? Every day is a great day to ride your bike. These stories deserve to be told. These are Utah Caring Stories. I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News.